On Monday of this week, Donald Trump's economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, announced that the United States, the Trump administration, is going to be ending subsidies for electric vehicles and other renewables in the next two years. Money to incentivize people to save energy, to be more efficient, to God forbid, help the environment a little bit. We're going to kill those. You no longer are going to get a big tax break for buying an electric vehicle. You no longer are going to be able to write off part of the cost of putting solar panels on your home or buying energy efficient appliances. We are ending all of that because to hell with the planet, we'll all be long dead by the time the really bad parts of climate change affect this entire country. That's basically the message that Larry Kudlow and by extension, the entire Trump administration and Republican party are sending to the United States right now, not just because they're killing those subsidies, but because they're not killing the $7 billion in subsidies that we give as a country every single year to fossil fuel companies. Some of the most profitable companies here in the United States, you know, Exxon, Shell, Chevron, BP, companies that make 20, 30, 40 billion dollars a year in profit. We fork over another seven billion dollars to them each year out of our tax dollars just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. Think about that. Exxon, who routinely makes profits close to 40 billion dollars a year, we just give them extra money. Our tax dollars, seven billion a year total between all fossil fuel industries. Just because because we, we can, because we have it, because there's literally nothing better in this country to spend that on. Maybe not Medicare for all instead, debt-free college, paying down student loan debts, something, anything better than giving it to the people who are not only poisoning the planet, poisoning citizens, but they're lying about it and have been since at, at, since at least the 1970s. Their own documents show that, but sure. Let's keep forking over $7 billion to them. Let's cut subsidies for renewable energy. Let's just have a massive party right now and end this planet as we know it. Because that's what Republicans are pushing us toward. That's what they want. That's what's going to happen under their policies. This past midterm, 2018, was a very strong rebuke of everything that Republicans and conservatives stand for maybe not in the Senate, but at least in the House of Representatives. They're pushing a Green New Deal. Republicans led by Trump and Kudlow are trying to take us backwards. They're taking us back in time. Unfortunately, we can't take the actual planet back in time to when it wasn't burning down due to our own emissions, but they wanna take policy back to the 1970s, 60s, hell, 20s, 10s, whatever it is. They just want to burn it all down, get as much money as possible and screw over the industries and the consumers who are actually trying to make the world a little bit brighter for the future generation. That's what the Republicans stand for today.